It's still the school holiday, but this history club from Go High School in Kampong Cham Province is hard at work creating a bulletin board to display some of their most recent research. This group of students gets together twice a month to learn about local history through real activities that take place outside of the traditional textbook and classroom. SCUP has organized extracurricular clubs like this one in subjects like history, theater, and English. I joined this club because I want to help maintain Khmer literature and I also want to help develop Khmer literature to make it more well known. Uh, when I join the club, I write poems, write short stories related to education. In school, we learn in books, but outside of school, we do our own research. These clubs give students the opportunity to learn subjects of interest through activities like field trips, surveys, local projects, theater performances, writing short stories, and creating materials like brochures. Clubs are guided by volunteer teachers with special interest in the subject who receive training from SCUP staff. Students also join on a completely voluntary basis based on a statement of interest. Once the club is formed, students elect their own officers. Together, they plan the schedule of activities, create budgets, run meetings, and organize the actual activities. The students in the club have to make their own decisions. They discuss in the club what they want to do or what they want to research. For example, if they want to buy books or storybooks, they have to make a plan and then they have to make a detailed list. And then they request budget to buy the things in their plan. The club doesn't only learn in class, but they also learn out in the field by researching, visiting, and summarizing stories from books. Always after they finish a visit or complete research, they'll write up a report together to share with the rest of the group what they've learned. Teachers facilitate, but they don't teach in the traditional sense. Instead, they promote students' autonomy to increase their confidence and excitement to learn. The club does have one teacher, but the teacher just disseminates information to the class and facilitates activities. They really do everything by themselves. Each group meets together and makes decisions on their own. The teacher isn't even really a teacher, but a facilitator. I wouldn't call it teaching. You don't really tell them how to do things. Go High School's History Club has organized a local conservation project at a nearby pre Korean ruin called Guki Home. Guki Home is located in an isolated rice field miles from the local village. With support from the Provincial Department of Culture and a local archaeological center, the students have spent time in the field learning the basics of conservation and the history of the ruins. So far, students have already begun maintenance around the site, including picking up trash, clearing the jungle, and constructing a walkway through the paddy fields to make it easier for locals and tourists to access. The club hopes to promote the site as a community resource. Out of the field, they're using the research they have gathered and their own experience to develop a brochure to advertise and inform locals and tourists about Kuki Home. The club is working together with the English club at their school to produce an English language version of the brochure to place in bus stations and local guest houses to attract foreign tourists. For more information, please contact the S-Club project.